Welcome to the Hoop Scoop on Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like and subscribe button on your way in. So, it has been settled. There were lots of teams interested, but the 76ers won out. Paul George is going to the Philadelphia 76ers with a whopping $212 million four-year contract. The contract is broken out to pay George $49 million in the 24-25 season, $51 million in the 25-26 season, $54 million in the 26-27 season, and $56 million in the 27-28 season. All I can say is, wow. Okay, George, despite being a veteran at 34 years old, has remained consistent with his greatness on the floor. Last year, he was averaging 22 points per game, 5.2 rebounds, and 3.5 assists. In addition to that, his three-point percentage continues to improve. But with that type of salary, there has to be some shedding elsewhere. This is who we know will be back. At the center position is going to be Joel Embiid and Andre Drummond. At the power forward, in addition to Paul George, there's also going to be Paul Reed. At the small forward position, there's going to be Kelly Oubre Jr. and Ricky Council IV. Shooting guard is going to be Tyrese Maxey and Eric Gordon. And then point guard is going to be the new kid on the block, Jared McCain. I'm so sure the Sixers fans are in full, full celebration mode right now. I mean, first you get Jared McCain, now Paul George, all in the span of seven days. Oh yeah, the bottles are being popped. So now though, for who might not be coming back, um, these are the free agents. So keep in mind that some of these guys might get a new deal. And I put an emphasis on might, because you know, you know how it works. First off, it's going to be 31-year-old power forward Tobias Harris that has been with the 76ers since 2019. He's averaging 17 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and 3 assists in the 23-24 season. Next up, it's going to be 31-year-old shooting guard Buddy Heald. He's only been with the uh, Sixers for a few months, and he came in via a trade in February of 2024. Next up is going to be 26-year-old shooting guard DeAnthony Melton, and he's been with the 76ers for two years. He averaged 11 points per game, 3.7 rebounds, and 3 assists in the 23-24 season. Next up is going to be 35-year-old forward Nicholas Batum, and he's been with the Sixers less than a year. He joined them back in November of 2023 via a trade. And rumors are saying that Batum plans to retire, like he's not planning to come back if the 76ers don't pick him up, or I don't even think he wants to come back. <laughs> you know, they, they're saying, you know, he's about to be 36 this year, so he's probably just going to hang up his, uh, his Nikes and hit the road. Uh, and then lastly is going to be 33-year-old forward Robert Covington that came to the Sixers in November with Batoon via that trade. Uh, and oh, also 38-year-old point guard Kyle Lowry. Um, he joined the 76ers in February of this year. I mean, 38? I, I'm not sure if Kyle needs to still be searching, but we'll see what happens. So <laughs> let us know what y'all think. Was this a good move for Paul George? Or, uh, you know, should he have looked elsewhere? I'm thinking it was a good move for him. I mean, anytime you can team up with Joel Embiid, it's a good thing, right? Um, and Yeah, 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 yeah. I know he hasn't won any championships, but could this possibly be the year? Y'all let me know. Could this be it? Could they be the team to beat next year? Also, about the free agents. What are your thoughts? Do the 76ers need to take anybody back or do they need to kind of go out there into that uh, lost and found bin of free agents and see what they could find in there that could match up with this new structure that they have with Jared McCain coming in as a point guard and Paul George? Um, you know, let me know what you think. What, what should they do? Um, if you're a Philadelphia 76ers fan, how are you feeling today? <laughs> Shout your team out. Shout your team out. I'm sure y'all are celebrating. And in other trade news, like who are you hoping your team will get? If you're not a 76ers fan, who you, who you want over there on your team? Unfortunately, things may have changed by the time you see this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that thumbs up for us, and we're going to see you on the next one. Lots of trade news happening this week, so we'll be back often. All right, have a good one. Goodbye.